country to demand uh, good jobs, um, rights for all people, um, all oppressed people, immigrant rights, um, LGBT community, um, and uh, education for all people, and you know, just a, a basic call for human rights and justice um, here in this country. I'm out here today because I'm standing and motivating and coming out here to create an image on behalf of the young people from Detroit. We believe that we are out, you know, we are some of the forgotten people and that a lot of the older people are coming out to try to, you know, provide an upper hand to the young people, which is our generation, you know, it's like we have to uplift humanity one step at a time. And by having a grip on the organization of the youth in the city and being able to go global with it will allow us to be able to change humanity in this country and the essence of being a culture crack, you know, putting these Democrats to rest because we're giving them time. You know, we're giving them respect, we're giving them the citizenship, we've been abided by the rules, you know, but now we're fed up, you know, we're fed up of all the bullshit that we're going through as people. You know, they're doing all these cutbacks, it's affecting the parents, it's affecting the elders, but again, it's affecting the youth, you know, the youth are the ones who's going to have to pay for it. This is my life also, you know, we're all born into this country, and I think we all have a say on how we should live here, you know. I'm just looking for my contingent, of course, it's a beautiful day here in Charlotte now, uh, different city, similar protest, uh, similar exercise, and it's going to be delightful, delightful. I am here with the North Carolina Public Service Workers Union, UE150. Um, we are here to show support for working people, the workers here in Charlotte. We have a chapter here in Charlotte just fighting for a basic standard of living and rights for workers here across the South but specifically here in North Carolina and in Charlotte, the um, struggles that the city workers, municipal workers are facing here in Charlotte. North Carolina is right to work and that it is one of the two states in the country that has made collective bargaining for public employees illegal. Um, we're fighting to overturn that law, um, state law, 90, General Statute 9598 here in North Carolina, um, to repeal that to allow public employees the right to collectively bargain, to you know better our workplaces if our workplaces are better, our communities are better. We're the first line that looks out for what happens, the health um, of our communities. Uh, we deserve to have a right on the job and that, you know, how employees are treated dictates, you know, what happens in our communities and the quality of life that we have in our communities. Something good to do, don't have anything better to do. So for the last, really, nine years, I've been joining with everyone who's protesting and challenging policies first of the Bush administration and now policies of the Obama administration. So I'm here in, in Charlotte, North Carolina uh, this week to challenge the Democrats on their war policies, on their use of these assassin execution drones, on curtailment, continuing curtailment of civil liberties, in fact even a ramp up from what the Bush administration did on, on civil liberties, where we now have whistleblowers in our government that are uh, that are telling us about criminal acts being committed by the government and then they're charged with espionage for God's sakes. They're the ones that are telling about the criminal acts and yet they're now being charged with criminal criminal acts and the real criminals go free. Just this week the Obama Justice Department decided it would not prosecute those in the CIA who murdered, murdered two guys that we know they murdered them in, uh, in prison. One in, in Afghanistan and one in Iraq. So the Obama administration is giving a free pass to all the war criminals of the Bush administration, of Condi Rice, Dick Cheney, Donald Rumsfeld, President Obama, all for creating wars of choice, for torturing people, for doing extraordinary rendition, kidnapping people, putting them into secret prisons, torturing and killing them there. So, and the Obama administration seems to think, no, that's okay. And so, because they don't want to be held accountable for the things they're doing now, of the execution drones, of the curtailment of civil liberties, of the, uh, you know, going after the Muslim community, of deportations beyond belief, the unbelievable stuff that they're doing. So, that's why I've traveled from Tampa, where we went after the Republicans for their repressive policies on women, uh, reproductive rights, on corporate greed, in in, in elections, and we were down there for that, and now... As um, one of the 99%, and um, really standing for the wellness of people. I think that is really at the core of what takes place. If people are well, and centered in love, always love, 
Even if it's the six-headed extraterrestrial that's landed from another galaxy, they will respond to that golden mean, that consilience. And if you're well to be able to respond like that, myriad of things can take place. It's infinite. So that's what I'm all about being here. I'm here at the DNC 2012 because um, the DNC really screwed over labor this year. Uh, every year, unions in this country, everything from little tiny radical unions to all the way up to the ALFCIO, give shit tons of money to them and they don't reciprocate ever. Um, and this year, actually, for this Democratic National Convention, the supposed spokespeople of um, the mid-left um, chose to have their convention in uh, a right-to-work state that is clearly anti-union. They chose a city that doesn't have a single union hotel, union uh, convention center. Like, none of the workers that that are going to um, wait hand and foot on their rich ass are going to be in a union, um, and that's bullshit, and uh, that's why I'm here. The only way we're going to get rid of the real gangsters is if we all come together in unity. Free Mumi Abu Jamal, free them Jamal al -Amin. free Bailey Manny. This is a people movement. Let's get busy. Democrats and Republicans are the same thing. Like, this convention is no different than the other. It's all bullshit. Like, we need something new completely. Well, both both um, parties, Democrats and Republicans, we call them the two corporate parties. They're both um, controlled by moneyed interests, the 1%. Um, they are both corporations contribute to them extremely. And so, on a lot of issues, unfortunately, um, the president has um, actually, you know, like he's deported immigrants in record numbers. And of course, he's got a, a endless war record, things like that, Gu Guantanamo Bay. Um, you know, there is a recognition that they're on important issues such as women rights, women's rights, and um, the, you know the, the Dream um, Act that he just uh, did it by executive order. You know, there are some obviously you know some major differences, but we want to really hold the two parties and the whole two-party system accountable during this this time where we have national stage. I think that there's no difference between Democrats and Republicans. Just like you know, Republicans, Democrats, whatever political party is in power, they are there to represent the the good and the will of the people. Um, somehow, you know, both parties have gotten a little off track. Uh, a little might be exaggerating, but uh, we're here to to reinforce that there's the people's platform and to state, you know, we don't ask people, you know, what are you going to do for us. We know what our needs are. It's up to the people to present their platform to the different parties and say, if you want our support, you have to support these, these platform issues. Very simple. Not well. Not well to take up the regimes and the different factions and all of you know, the, the things that they do. Not well. Okay? We're equal opportunity challengers and protesters. If we go after the issues and whoever's doing wrong to the American public, we're here to challenge them on it. Estoy porque soy un miembro de Indocubus 
y estoy tratando de eh, que todos los miembros que venimos en el camión estamos tratando de que la justicia llegue a su, a, a su culminación. I'm out here because I'm part of Undocumentus and I'm out here joining them and fighting for Undocumented Immigrants Rights. Showing, showing that we are powerful. Porque hay muchas injusticias con nuestro agente. Se están aplicando leyes antiraciales, anti-inmigrantes, que están pisoteando los derechos de todos nosotros. There is a lot of injustices going on in the immigrant community. They're stepping all over us and basically treating us less than human. Vengo de, del estado de Arizona, donde la ley SB 1070 está aplicando el perfil racial y te detienen por un, por no, por, en, en el tráfico te detienen aunque no hayas cometido un delito de tráfico solo por tu color de piel. I'm coming from Arizona where they're passing very anti-immigration laws. For example, the one where you can just drive around and you can get pulled over just by the color of your skin and you're doing nothing wrong. They automatically curb around just by the color of your skin. Y por, emo, por eso hemos salido a, desde Arizona hasta Charlotte para dar a conocer las injusticias que se están llevando a cabo en Arizona y en otras partes de, de los estados de Estados Unidos. We come out here down from Arizona all the way to Charlotte to recognize all the injustices that are going on in America, but not just in Arizona, but all over the United States. I want a piece of pizza, yeah, right now. I want a piece of pizza. The pizza reheated will never be eaten. We're waiting. We're all waiting. And we got nothing but infinity. Power of love. I love you.